no, it's pretty serious. I mean, uh, there's a kind of a hidden point which isn't being brought out. And that is that it is inconceivable that the U.S. would permit democracy in the Middle East. And for a very simple reason. Just take a look at the polls of Arab public opinion. Now, they exist. You can't find them in the press, but they exist. They're prestigious polling agencies. They're released by major institutions. And uh, what they show is that if there was democracy in the Middle East, the entire U.S. program for domination of the Middle East would be down to two. I mean, our uh, public opinion does not regard Iran as a hostile entity. In fact, it's so supportive of Iran that uh, a majority think it would be the place to be better off if Iran had nuclear weapons. Uh, the, uh, the main enemies are are United States and Israel, like in the 80, 90 percent range. Uh, and you look at popular figures, the most popular figure is the Prime Minister of Turkey, Erdogan, and then it goes down the list. Uh, down the list you get Osama bin Laden, you know, Saddam Hussein, you don't get a Obama, or in fact any Western leader. The uh, public uh, doesn't want the whole imperial project. So if you had democracy, it would be all over. So you don't think that the United States will let democracy They don't want democracy here. Flourish. Why should they want it in the Middle East? In fact, what's going on in, uh, you mentioned Wisconsin, that's quite appropriate. The, I mean, the, the, the last 30 years have been a major assault against democracy here. And the governor of Wisconsin is trying to carry it forward. Uh, and uh, finally, there's some uh, resistance. but. Uh, uh, plainly, elites here don't want democracy, and why should they? I mean, democracy is always harmful to elite interests, almost by definition.